peeps. Oh wait, this chair needs to come down. There we go. Good morning. I hope you're all in a really good mood. And um, I tried shooting this video last night and I just was like so out of it, so tired. Uh, it was so crazy out here. So I'm just gonna redo all of it right now. Um, also because I am not able to go to um, the launch of the Delta 5 rocket and that's because it is scrubbed, which means that's not going to be happening. Um, so at least right now, it's probably going to be pushed for a couple days. Um, so that's, you know, kind of a bummer, but these things happen. It is rocket science. Um, so any little change in um, like the winds or any change in like the atmospheric pressure, it will literally cause the launch to be uh, delayed. So anyway, so I thought, um, I would, first of all, I want to talk to you guys about these cool things I have on my wall. Um, I saw like an ad on Instagram for this company, they're called Wallpix, and I was like, ooh, these look really cool. I ordered them like way before the holidays, and um, they're like pretty dope. It's all like pictures that I've like uploaded on Instagram. This is of like a Falcon 9 launch. This was from my Bianca Senior Art Exhibit. Uh, this is the World, I think this is the Whirlpool Galaxy, and then I got Orion up here, and if you guys can see it. But they're really cool, so now I get to have like something on my really blank wall. But um, yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys all about the Falcon Heavy launch. It's going to be so exciting. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys are very, very excited for it. It was going to be originally today, um, and it's getting pushed. I think it's probably going to be closer to like January 25th. Um, so that's going to be amazing. The Falcon Heavy is going to be the world's strongest rocket that's ever made it to space. And Elon Musk's plan is to have it orbit, um, the or go around the orbit, orbit of Mars and then return back to Earth. And um, he actually has his um, red Tesla Roadster uh, car, the very first one that he made, inside of there. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's in the, the storage area of the rocket, which is the top part, which is like, um, I'm going to go through all the different stages with you guys. The reason it's called Falcon Heavy versus the Falcon 9 rocket versus a lot of the other rockets that are out there, like, you have, like the Saturn V, um, then you have um, the Delta V, then you have the Delta Heavy. Um, it depends on the payload, of how heavy the payload is, and then they will um, put extra rocket boosters on there in order to lift and have a stronger thrust to get this heavier weight into orbit. So I just want to run through with you guys the different stages of the Falcon Heavy rocket. You're going to have the center part, which is known as the interstage. Whoop. You're going to have the center part, which is known as the interstage, which normally looks like the Falcon 9 rocket when you've seen it reland, like on the drone pad out in the water. Um, it's going to have like that cylinder shape. That's the interstage. Um, and then on top of that is where the cargo is. It's this cone shape. That normally will open up and a lot of times if there's a satellite inside, that satellite will be put into orbit um, once it's gone past Earth's atmosphere. And then um, because it's a Falcon Heavy, it's going to have those extra engines. It's going to need that extra fuel and that extra thrust of about 5.13 million pounds of thrust to get this um, extra weight into space. So it's going to have on the sides um, these two, two separate stages. This is going to be known as the first stage. They're connected by um, another part, which is usually like um, what's going to actually separate during the first stage. So once all that fuel is burned and it's still in Earth's atmosphere, um, it's going to actually separate and it's going to fall back down to Earth. And Elon Musk's plan is to be able to reuse it because the more parts of the rocket that will be reusable, the cheaper it's going to be for the customers um, to, that are going to be going to space uh, for their, their tickets. So um, that's going to fall back down to space um, once those uh, engines are burned, which is also why they say engine burn, um, which also, by the way, the uh, fuel that is inside of these Merlin engines is liquid oxygen propellant. So that's pretty cool. So once that part um, burns and they fall back down to earth, then you're going to have this, this interstage and then you're going to have the cargo, which is going to be on top. Um, that's going to be bringing people to um, the orbit of Mars. And um, like it was, which is really cool. I just found out that he was saying it, it's going to be able to hold enough of um, a whole crew and all the customers on a 747 aircraft, including all the luggage and fuel, um, which is pretty exciting. So um, that's pretty much kind of the, the rundown of the Falcon Heavy rocket itself. And um, just also clarify when I was saying that it's going to have that thrust of the 513 um, pounds. That's only at sea level. Once you go further up, the atmospheric pressure is decreasing. And then when you get into, into space, which is a vacuum, there's no pressure. And so the uh, thrust is actually going to be able to increase to about 5.5 um, million pounds. 
So for kilonewtons, that's about 24,000 uh, kilonewtons for those of you guys that know that. Um, so that's like really, really uh, exciting and that's kind of a lot. And I believe it was about 119,000 pounds of cargo is what it can actually hold. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about as far as the Falcon Heavy rocket. This is gonna be a really awesome launch if you guys have a chance to see it. Um, it ju did just go vertical, I believe it was a couple weeks ago, uh, which means that it was, it now came out of, um, it, it's down at Kennedy Space Center. So it was rolling out on the crawler and then they were able to lift it and put it in vertical which means that this is where it'll then launch so that's gonna be pretty exciting and i'm very stoked about that so um and again thank guys i want to thank you so much for the comments you've been leaving um i am going to get into uh the details and the mathematics and the mechanics of solid rocket boosters. Um, I did see that comment, thank you so much for leaving that. And I just love these comments. I think that that's really incredible. It's really what fuels these videos and the talks that I end up doing on here. Um, because honestly, that's the reason why I even started this YouTube channel because um, I just wanna keep learning and I feel like the best way to do this is building a community, getting those that are you know, new at science and those that are actually PhDs or they're already professors or they're studying you know, in, in school right now and they're getting their masters or something. I feel like this is what can really bridge that gap, um, especially in entertainment. So anyway, I'll do another video kind of rambling about my whole purpose, but um, I just wanna talk about the Falcon Heavy uh, rocket with you guys a little bit. And yeah, and check out these cool like wall picks that I have. So I'm off to do something today um, since now that the, the Delta 5 was scrubbed. Um, I'm gonna find something to do, but I got to do this video and I woke up early. It's not even, oh my gosh, it's not even 9.30 yet. It's 9.18 and I'm doing this video. I'm probably waking everyone up, but that's okay. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!